In today's Guitar Lele video, we're gonna do my chord melody arrangement of We Three Kings. I did one on the ukulele, but now I wanna do one on the guitar lele. This one is gonna be played all finger style using our thumb. Welcome to You Collect the Pros, I'm Terry Carter. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the lessons, tutorials, reviews, and everything else I do right here on the You Collect the Pros channel. So anyway, this is a chord melody, meaning chords, just like you do when you strum, but also the melody as well. Okay, you're gonna do that all in this particular piece using our thumb. Okay, we're gonna walk it through it, but when you're listening to it, I just want you to hear those chords, but as I'm playing them, I want you to hear the melody to We Three Kings. All right, it's gonna sound like this. All right, so I made a comment about hearing that melody. Because when you do these chord melody arrangements, finger style arrangements, you want to make sure you hear the melody. Sometimes they get lost. And so for this one, We Three Kings, the melody is. And you really want to hear that, even though you're going to add chords. while you're playing it. And what's cool about this is like, you're now like a one man band. You don't need an accompanist. You can just do the chords and the melody yourself. All right, this is really not that difficult of a piece. It only uses, I think, four different chords, the D minor, the A7, the C, the F, and the G minor. Okay, so five chords. All right, so let's just jump into it. Let me play the first section here, the first four bars. <laughs> Now that's gonna get repeated, so I'll do it one more time. All right, so we're just gonna start off with your regular D minor chord here. And as I mentioned, you really wanna pay attention to what string your thumb is gonna stop at, because you gotta make sure you get the melody. And so for this chord, when you first play it, the melody is right here on the first string open, so you got. And then you're gonna add your pinky here to the second string, third fret, while holding the chord down. You're just gonna play that as a single note. Now you're gonna strum the D minor again, except you're gonna stop on the second string. So do not play the first string there. And then all you have to do is simply hit the third string with your D minor chord already there. All right, so that's the first two bars. It's gonna sound like this. All right, now we're gonna bring in the A7 chord. It's gonna be. All right, so it's just regular A7, except for you're gonna stop again on the second string, so you're gonna avoid playing the first string. So it's A7. Then I'm gonna do single notes, just second string, first fret with my first finger, and then open second string. So it's. And then the last chord here in this first part is D minor again. And you're gonna stop here on the, well, you're holding the D minor chord, but you're gonna stop here on the third string. So just strum down to the third string. All right, so let's just do those last two bars here. So, and. All right, so now, let's, that's the first section. That's the A section, the first four bars. Remember, that's done twice. So let's go ahead and do it from the top. Ready, and. Now repeat. All right, so now let me go ahead and play the next bar for you. And then a cool little ending chord. All right, but let's let's break it down a little bit smaller than that. So let me just play the first two bars here. So it's D minor to C. Now both of these is going to be the melody is going to be on the second string. So D minor, you're going to stop on the second string and then hit that note again by itself. Then you're going to go to a C chord here, but it's going to be a little bit different fingering than maybe you do at normally time. I'm using 
my third finger here on the sixth string, third fret, muting the fifth string, open four, open three, and then my pinky is here on the second string, third fret, and there's my melody note. And then I hit it again by itself. Okay, so let's just do that. Here we go. D minor to C, and. All right, let me play the next part for you. So it's gonna start with an F chord, and you're gonna strum all strings one through five here. And then you're gonna hit that first string open again. And then you're gonna do this little walk down. All right, so again, it's F, strum all five strings, then hit the first string again. Now, what I'm gonna do add my pinky here to the first string, third fret, I'm gonna strum. And then I'm gonna add my first finger here to the first string, first fret, single note, and then open first string. So it's. All right, so let's play the two measures of F here. And. All right, now it's gonna to go to this G minor, it's gonna sound like this. And then the any, but let's, let's go back to it. So the G minor, now normally G minor is like this, but we're not gonna use our first finger, so no first finger, so it's gonna be open four, second finger on the third string, second fret, and then my pinky, I, I like to use my pinky. Some people like their third finger. I like my pinky on the second string, third fret. Now, that's all I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play those because my melody is on the second string, so it's. And then open first string and then back to the second string, third fret. So the G minor is like this. And then it's gonna to go to D minor, stopping on the second string, to the A7, stopping on the second string as well. And then your last chord here is D minor, stopping here on the third string. Although it's not technically your last chord because you have one other one, which is the D minor chord or D minor seven bar chord, but I'll get to that in a second. All right, so, but let's go back here. So let's play the G minor part. Here we go, ready and D minor, A7, the D minor again. And now the last chord, well actually, if you wanted to repeat the song, you would just hold that particular D minor chord out and then you'd repeat it. But we're just gonna do this once for today. To end it, I'm just going up to this kind of cool D minor seven chord where I just have to bar all five strings here at the fifth fret with my first finger and then adding my third finger to the fifth string fifth fret and you got the D minor seven. It's a little bit tricky of a chord if it's new to you, but it's just a nice way to finish the entire piece. All right, so there's We Three Kings. What I wanna do now is I wanna play the entire thing going all the way back to the beginning. Remember that first section gets repeated twice. So here we go, ready and. just a little bit there and yeah, so retard just you can just kind of slow it down there at the end all right so there's a really nice piece it's not overly difficult but it does require some practice it does require some control of that thumb and as I mentioned that D minor seven bar chord may be a little bit uh, hard if you're totally new to the bar chords all right so that's gonna do it Thanks for being here and we'll see you next time.